I cannot believe I made it to Emirates and I got my boarding passes. My goodness, you'll find out what was going on in Mumbai later in this report. After many fancy reports about Emirates, now it's about a cabin that Emirates definitely does not show in their advertising, but which is still flying around in droves. The old generation economy class on the Boeing 777. That alone was worth the trip to India, because Emirates doesn't just use the old workhorses in Africa and India, but sitting there can happen to everyone. But we're no wusses, are we? And hello from on board Emirates Economy Class, on board a Boeing 777-200 aircraft. Uh, the more or less worst case scenario when it comes to Economy Class at Emirates. An Economy Class that Emirates of course does not show on their uh, high profile, high resolution pictures, but that exists in quite a lot of their planes. So let's look forward to quite a realistic flight report Emirates economy class in two and a half hours from Mumbai to Dubai. And here we are on our Emirates Boeing 777-200 on the way from Mumbai to Dubai. Well, this is kind of a deja vu because I used to fly Emirates really a lot. I used to be even a gold status member, never paid by a company, always paid by myself. Yeah, other people have a car, I do this. So um, I'm really curious about the flight now. And um, you see all these very beautiful pictures of Emirates, but they never show the old cabins. And this is the old cabin. This is a 16 year old aircraft. They didn't really refurbish the inside or the interior for a long, long time. You have the old monitors, the old remote controls and so on. But of course, still, it's a comfortable seat. Anyway, now I'm really curious how the flight is gonna be. Actually, I would have been on a window seat, but once I got my boarding pass, there was no more window seat. The reason is that they had an aircraft change. It's still a Boeing 777, but a different one, and my window seat was gone. Uh, anyway, that's maybe even better, because now we have the worst case scenario of Boeing 777 and the worst seat on that very aircraft. And that's always good, because I don't like these super highly polished reviews. I want to give the real thing, and um, this is also part of reality, that sometimes you're not on the best seat. Apart from a few upgrades, almost all my Emirates flights were in economy and that in all versions. In general, the seats on all Boeing 777s are narrower than on the A380. The seat pitch, however, is relatively similar in all planes and quite good. The very latest economy seats are equipped with state-of-the-art monitor screens, which makes a huge difference. While the Boeing 777-200 we're sitting in is equipped with the latest game changer business class, which still lags behind the experience on the A380 and not just because of the lack of the onboard bar, economy class still has the oldest seat versions. It's unlucky then if you're not on a very short hop like us from Mumbai to Dubai, but instead on one of the very long routes which this type is also used for, for example over 14 hours to Rio de Janeiro. The best seats in economy class are of course the ones with more legroom, usually those in the first rows of the cabin, but there's also a few exceptions here. And it's also good to know that the last few window seats on the Boeing 777 are double seats. And now let's talk a little about Skyward's Emirates Frequent Flyer program and how you can still use your miles there after the incredible devaluation a year ago. This flight is fully booked in economy class and there was one seat available in business class. I could have upgraded to business class and the interesting thing is it would have been only 19,000 miles. Anyway, I didn't want to upgrade because I really want to make this economy class review. There's already enough about first class and business class on my channel when it comes to Emirates. So this is an overview report. Um, however, it's interesting to know that it's only 19,000 miles for this upgrade of two and a half or three hours flight and Skywards, that's the um, frequent flyer program of Emirates, is a program that really cheated on their customers in the past years. They have some of the most loyal customers of all airlines and suddenly they just evaluated the Miles program, the Skywards program uh, to a maximum level. 
suddenly um, you have to pay so many more miles than before and in addition they just double tripled quadrupled the fees that you have to pile on award tickets sometimes really to a ridiculous amount um, for example now between Europe and Dubai it's about I think 87,000 miles for one-way business class tickets so that's really ridiculous and on top come a lot and a lot of euros uh, as charges as fees and taxes so that's completely insane and they really punished their most loyal customers with it and especially people who were just collecting miles just to look or, or so flew Emirates may for many years collected the miles and wanted to go on a trip and now cannot because they devaluated the mileage program to a maximum level really not okay one important tip in general from my side when it comes to using miles and points don't hoard miles for a long time to just look proudly at the high number but save them up for a realistic goal and then redeem the miles promptly every mileage program regularly and often without notice makes so-called adjustments after which the same flight suddenly requires a lot of more miles it's a shame then if you suddenly cannot book your dream flight because of this. What Emirates did with Skywards is an extreme customer unfriendly example. There are still a few little um, sweet spots on Emirates Skywards, really not many, but one of them is doing upgrades. The upgrades can still be quite okay with Emirates. Uh, you can uh, book your uh, economy class ticket and then hope for an upgrade possibility and then pay it not too many miles at least for Emirates standards. What I did and what is also interesting to do is book an um, economy ticket on miles and um, then also hope for an upgrade because then for on economy class tickets they don't um, have these high surcharges and fees and taxes but quite low ones you can upgrade again with miles to business class and by that way you avoid the crazy high fees and taxes and still pay maybe a little less miles than you would normally have done. One really big highlight of Emirates, no matter in which class, first business and economy class, is the entertainment system. It's called ICE, that's Information, Communication and Entertainment, and um, they have the biggest selection of all entertainment systems, all airlines in the world. They offer more than 5,000 choices, as far as I know. There's lots of movies, all kinds of international movies. You have uh, TV shows and you don't have just two or three episodes. No, you have the whole seasons of uh, very popular series or TV shows. Then you have documentaries, you have live uh, news, for example. So a lot and a lot to choose from. Also a lot of audio libraries and I mean there's still, even for the longest flight of 15, 16 hours, you still uh, have enough to see, enough to watch, enough to listen to, so that's pretty great. How about some coffee just before landing? You have the opportunity here to keep me awake during my long nights editing videos by buying me a coffee. With buymeacoffee.com you can support the work of creators like me with the cost of one cup of coffee. You can buy me one or more coffees and you can find the link right now at the top right of the window and in the video description. It's even easier with a super thank that you can find directly under the video. I would be very happy, especially creating my large airline reports takes a good 30 to 50 hours of work and unfortunately the flight tickets for the reports don't grow on trees. Thank you so much and now let's check out the toilets. Such a two and a half, three hour flight with Emirates goes really by like in a flight, <laughs> literally. Um, we got a full lunch service, that was actually in my case a light lunch. Somehow I ordered it, I didn't really know that I did, but I did. And it was actually quite good, I can really use a light lunch anyway. So it was uh, some fish and spinach and uh, a light 
appetizer and what was really good was a light dessert. So then they have all kinds of soft drinks and juices and so on and also wines. They used to have little wine bottles for every economy passenger but that time is over now. For economy class absolutely okay. Until like about seven years ago they had a much um, higher service in economy class. They, for example, also had an ice cream service between Europe and the United Arab Emirates. That's all over now, but still, the level is quite okay. What also changed is their upgrade policy, because they used to have quite a nice policy for gold, mostly gold and platinum status members. The plane didn't have to be fully booked to get upgraded, uh, but they would just put you in the nicer cabin if they could somehow. But that is clearly over now too. However, you should check out my channel. There's one video with a really crazy story. I got upgraded really from economy to first class as an optional upgrade. That was pretty amazing. And how that worked out, the reason for that, I will tell you in that other video. But I wanted to tell you what actually happened in the beginning. Stress to the power of 10. It was not expected at all that I would still sit in this plane now because I arrived to Mumbai 15 minutes only before the check-in counter closed of Emirates in, um, in Mumbai. And in Mumbai, Emirates passengers have to go to the check-in counter to get their boarding pass, even if you have just hand luggage like I do. So uh, I arrived on the inaugural flight of the new Air India Airbus A350 and um, a staff there just drove me with their little car through the terminal and I ran like a crazy person through the rest of the departure hall and I mean that was a real film scene super embarrassing and I'm so glad nobody knows me in Mumbai so anyway I arrived 10 seconds before they closed the check-in counter so I'm really happy and grateful now that I'm sitting here on this wonderful old Emirates plane So we are approaching Dubai already. Now how was this flight in Emirates economy in the worst case version in the Boeing 777-200 in the very old version? Well, first of all, um, it's nice. I find it nice to travel in economy class with Emirates. Maybe it has to do with my memories, that might be, but altogether they have a good product. I mean here of course we have the super old seats, but they're still okay, they're comfortable even though they're really old. They're comfortable, there's good leg room, and uh, <coughs> you have the very good entertainment system. That's really fantastic. You're really being entertained for a long, 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 long time. Um, the equipment is really old here, but it works. The touchscreen works. It's maybe a little slower than the other ones. Okay. Of course, if you happen to be in one of the really new Boeing 777s, then it's another story. You have a very nice touchscreen very wide screen and are all very super modern and um, also in the newer Airbus A380s it's really great and especially there you get the silent feeling of flying that you only get on the Airbus A380 that's so special about that plane so altogether I like flying Emirates economy class it's a special feeling and I mean then it also comes up to the staff you know sometimes they don't have a great day then maybe it's not so amazing. Sometimes they have a great day and then it's wonderful. Here, of course, a little stress because, I mean, this plane is completely fully booked uh, on this flight from India. So, of course, it's a little stressful for them. Altogether, it was still really nice. And I recommend going on Emirates. It's really one of the better, maybe not the best, but one of the really better economic classes out there. It's fun to fly Emirates somehow. And here we've landed in Dubai on Emirates Economy Class in their Boeing 777-200. I hope you really enjoyed this review. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. And uh, there's lots of really exciting reports waiting for you. And one of them would be here in the corner. Check it out right away and see you again very soon here at Travel Sing Fly.